All right guys, so here are the wheels. Project 6GRs, as you can see, we got a lot of dirt left in the spokes. Looks like they might have tried to wipe these down or something before I got here, but lots of brake dust being caused by these absolutely gargantuan Brembos. And so the first step is I'm going to take an iron remover. What I'm gonna be using today is the product we're working on at Mr. Rado to produce. It's not finally done yet, but we're just getting there. And I'm gonna take this and spray it all over the entirety of the wheels. This black powder coat on these wheels is extraordinarily soft. And if I was to just take the pressure washer and start blasting off all of this brake dust that's on here, it could potentially scratch the surface on its way off. And we wanna keep these wheels looking as perfect as possible. So what this is also doing is providing lubrication as this stuff is being removed. So you can see we're starting to get some good results over here. I'm gonna give it about another 30 seconds for it to sit. In order for the ceramic to bond as proper as possible, it is important to have any iron particles removed as they can embed themselves pretty deeply into the wheels. So it's been enough time, we're gonna go ahead and pressure wash these off. I'm using a 40 degree pressure washer tip in order to not put so much force on in the wheels as I'm removing stuff so that I'm gonna put scratches in it. All right, guys, and as you can see, most of that brake dust came right off with a wheel cleaner. For some people, this may be more than enough just to kind of get it looking decent for them, but I would never in a million years recommend not actually touching the wheel, especially if you're going to apply something like ceramic coating afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach our foam cannon. And now I'm going to use foam to clean these wheels because once again, this paint is extraordinarily soft and there is no cleaner on the market that's going to be able to provide more lubrication than this foam cannon. So now that the wheel is foamed up, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning these from the top down. I'm going to be using wheel woolies in order to get all the way into the barrels and this wheel woolly is just the right distance that I need to be able to get in between this massive brake rotor and the rim itself. So now before I put this wheel woolly back into my wheel bucket, I'm going to pressure wash it off real quick. Throw it back on up in there. And you can use, I mean, even the softest of detail brushes such as this one right here from Chemical Guys. These are gonna do a great job of getting into cracks and crevices, and I'm gonna go ahead and use them where the lug nuts are in order to get clean all the way around. However, I am not going to use this on the actual spokes of the rims themselves because I find that even with these very fine detail brushes that they tend to scratch, especially on this soft of black paint, and they don't do nearly as good of a job at removing dirt as a good old microfiber towel will. So I'm actually gonna take this starting at the top. Got plenty of soap in here. Work it onto here. I'm not gonna use any pressure. I'm just gonna allow the microfiber to slide against the surface. And what I'm actually gonna have to do because this brake, this brake caliper is so large is I'm gonna have to take the car, roll it forward and clean the other portion of the barrel here because there is I don't even know how there's enough room for air to get in between there. It's ridiculous how tight it is. So guys, since I am going to be ceramic coating this wheel, I need it to be clean as possible. I'm going to hit it one more time with a foam cannon just to make sure I got anything else off. This is overkill. You definitely don't have to do this, but it's the way I like to get it done. And what I'm going to do first this time is I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take care of the wheel well as well while I'm in here. So we've got the wheel well all cleaned up. I'm going to scrub down the tire too. And like I was saying earlier about how I use a microfiber towel instead of the um, instead of brushes to do the work. I would actually recommend that you use a microfiber towel instead of a wheel woolly for that exact same reason. However, these wheels, they're so tight from the rotor to the actual barrel that that is not exactly possible. So I'm gonna hit that one more time and I am gonna take one of my detail brushes and I'm gonna hit the brake caliper because this thing is also disgusting. 
Guys, if you could take the wheels off and clean them both barrel and face, that's always going to be the best way to do this. However, I understand for a lot of you at home that that is not a feasible option, so that's not what I'm going to show you guys today. Alright, we got all the wheels clean, so now we're going to roll it forward. This is what was hiding but from us behind that caliper. All right guys, so we got the vehicle all washed, dried it up. While we were drying it, I made sure to use compressed air to be able to blow out the water from any of these lug nut holes and tight areas of the rim. Now what I just did is I soaked the whole thing in some alcohol diluted 50-50. So 50% 50 alcohol is what it's rated at at this point. And I'm just gonna come in here with a brand new microfiber after this stuff set for a minute or two and I'm gonna wipe it off. I got a second microfiber that I'm gonna use to be able to get rid of the excess left over. And this is gonna strip off any wax or grease that may be left on these wheels after the wash. I also went ahead and did the tire shine before this step. So in that case, if any tire shine gets on the wheel, I can go ahead and get it off with the alcohol before applying the ceramic. If you have ceramic curing on your wheels and you get tire shine on it that is not good so either apply it beforehand or wait for it to fully cure before you do apply it and never spray it on I always apply it with a applicator pad of sorts sadly we are not going to be able to ceramic coat the barrels of these wheels with them on the car so for the sake of the video I'm gonna leave them on the car and just do the faces so that I can show you guys at home how easy this stuff is and then after we're gonna take the rims off and coat the barrels if you guys are gonna polish the wheels you want to go ahead and do this before applying the ceramic it is not necessary as long as you have a very clean surface that's been degreased with alcohol the ceramic will stick to it however if you do want to get scratches and imperfections out beforehand that's a great idea because once the ceramic is on you're gonna to have to polish through it in order to be able to get to those when applying the ceramic, you want to make sure that you have great lighting on here. That's half the battle is being able to see it. The biggest problem is that it doesn't all get wiped off whenever you're done with it because it's very easy to miss a spot. So you want to either be in direct sunlight, which with this product is not an issue. If it's about 100 degrees outside, I would highly advise against applying it in direct sunlight due to the fact it's just going to flash way too quickly. But this is a nice 60 degree day or so, and this product does well being applied outdoors in the sun. So we're going to go ahead and finish wiping this down. Take a good thorough look for any last spots that may be in here and then we're gonna get to coating them. All right guys, so now that we just got done applying alcohol to the wheel, stripping off any wax or grease that may be left, we're ready to apply the ceramic. And so once again, just do a very thorough inspection to make sure that there's no spots left behind that you wanna take care of before applying the ceramic. Make sure that you don't have any water left in cracks or crevices. If you don't have access to an air compressor, you could use maybe a leaf blower or something or just give it a lot of time for it to dry out because if this if water drips down after you've applied the ceramic within 24 hours of being applied it's not going to cure properly and you're not going to get the maximum life out of it so for wheels this intricate i like to use these cotton rounds you can get them in the makeup section of walmart Publix, wherever and you know, they're just one time use and i can usually just do about one face of the wheel with one of these you also want to make sure that you're wearing some type of gloves whenever you're applying ceramic. If it's not something you would want to drink, you probably don't want it on your body either, especially with ceramic. You do not want this on your hands. Always make sure to wear some sort of protection. So what I'm going to do, take the ceramic, give it just a nice little line on there. I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to apply with no pressure and look over the surface to make sure that everywhere I've applied it to, I have full coverage. You can see an oily-like substance being left behind onto the surface of the wheel. And I'm only gonna focus on one portion of this rim and not move on until it is fully coated. As you can see down on this spoke right here, the coverage is very splotchy. It's not really getting fully covered, so I'm just gonna add a few more drops and I'm gonna keep applying. 
This is a very easy process. You something that you do not want to rush. You really want to take your time with it and just ensure that you're getting full coverage everywhere that you're applying. And these edges of the wheels right here where the spokes are, you really want to make sure to be able to work into those as it's very easy to not get full coverage in areas like that. I can already see in areas where I have recently applied it to that it's already starting to get kind of hazed over and it's getting a little rainbow looking. You'll see it changing colors into blue, oranges, greens and whatnot. That's letting you know that it's setting. So now that I've gone around the whole wheel, I'm going to take the same applicator pad and I'm going to go over all of the areas that I've already applied it to and just ensure that I'm going to get full coverage off of this so that I'm not wasting my time doing it. And just like a wax, this stuff is going to need a minute or two for it to fully cure. In this temperature right here, I'd say about three minutes from the last application in order for it to fully cure onto the surface. If you're applying this product professionally, you could use an airbrush or a very small paint gun to actually paint it onto the surface. That's a very quick and easy way to do very intricate wheels. These wheels you can apply by hand, but there are some wheels out there that are so intricate that it really isn't even a possibility. All right, so this is going in the trash. Cover up the bottle of ceramic. And we're going to give this about two minutes and then go ahead and start wiping. Now also, instead of using these cotton applicator pads, you could use a microfiber applicator pad to apply the product. However, the applicator pad is going to soak in much more of the ceramic and you're not going to get as much bang for your buck because it's not all getting transferred to the surface. And that's obviously a rather expensive product. So using these little cotton pads has the minimal amount of that happening as possible. And also, since they're so cheap, I got like 300 of those for $5. You don't feel bad about throwing them away after you use them. Once the ceramic cures, the ceramic that's in this microfiber will be very, very hard and will scratch any surface that you're going to put it on. The only thing I would ever use these towels on after ceramic has cured on them is maybe tire shine. But other than that, they're pretty much trash. So be ready to throw them away and have a large disposable amount of towels. And you want to make sure you're using a brand new, extreme, extraordinarily clean one in order to not scratch the wheel as you're removing the ceramic or even applying it. Look at the gloss on those wheels and now this stuff on wheels isn't going to last as long as it would on your paint and that is because brake dust is very very corrosive and will eat through the ceramic much quicker and your wheels just in general take a lot more of a beating and get a lot dirtier than your paint does typically so with this you can look at anywhere from about six months to one year worth of protection off of a single application and longer if you apply more. What I love about the ceramic is how easy these wheels are going to be able to clean now that the ceramic is applied due to the fact that brake dust isn't going to sit on top of the wheel. It's going to sit on top of that layer of ceramic. It's going to be much easier to remove the brake dust from the ceramic than it would be the brake dust from the wheel. That's the beauty of the product. Maintenance is going to be a breeze. It's not going to be hard to make them look this shiny again. And also, I'm sure you guys are familiar with how soft black powder coat is and easy to scratch. The 9H hardness of this coating is going to make it a harder surface to install scratches in in the future so now that we're done with that wheel we're going to go ahead and hit the other three and i'll show you the final product <laughs> 